In today's video, I'm going to be breaking down a nice little trick that you can do if you have Hot Rot Master or a Wide Receiver Apprentice ability in Madden 21. What's up, guys? My name is Cody, and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch today's video. Now, if you're brand new to the YouTube channel, I post videos every single day on YouTube to help you get better on the offensive side and the defensive side of the ball. I post videos every day at 2 o'clock, at 4 o'clock, at 6 o'clock, and at 8 o'clock p.m. Eastern Time. And so if you have not already subscribed yet, research shows that only 40% of the people that watch my videos are actually subscribed to me. It would mean a lot to me if you subscribed. It helps the channel out a ton. We're trying to reach the goal of 15,000 uh, subscribers by the, uh, by the uh, end of the year. So thank you guys so much for your support. And also, if you haven't joined the channel yet, it gives you some nice perks as well. You can click the Join button at the bottom of the screen uh, if you're a supporter and just want to support the channel. All right, guys. So I wanted to talk a little bit about this um, hot route that you can use from the far tight slot. Now, um, in my text message membership this week, we're going to be talking about the far tight slot offensive scheme and kind of explaining how it works and why it works super, super, super well uh, in this game. But what we're going to be showing you today is a little trick that you can use kind of to create some nice flood concepts to the right side of the field. Most of the time from this, you're flooding the defense to the left side. This is going to force them to have to um, really respect your offense on the right side of the field with some snap throws and some things like that as well. So, uh, what's, uh, so anyway, um, I'm going to show you this from far tight slot. So we've kind of based out of the curls play. You don't really need any specific play to run this with. Um, if I were to recommend one play, it would probably be the flats play to run this. Uh, and the primary reason why is just because you get a nice little post route to the left side uh, receiver. So uh, defensively, we're just going to come out in nickel 335 uh, and we're going to audible into nickel 55 wide. That's kind of America's uh, defense here. And what I want to show you is this is primarily for like a cover two style defense. Like if they're running um, a lot of cover two on you, this is going to be super, super effective uh, against cover two. But basically what we're going to do is we're going to take the backs uh, on the backs here and we're going to put them on f uh, flat routes to both sides, right? And if you wanted to, you could put your left side guy. If you have high route master, you can put him on a Texas route. If you don't have high route master, no worries. You can put him on a streak. Um, you can put him on a option. You can put him. You can block him for all I care. It really doesn't matter. He's not necessarily critical to this play working. The next thing that we're going to do is we're going to take Gronkowski and put him on a streak. With Mike Evans, you can do a lot of different things with him. If you have a hot route master, I would recommend putting him on a post route. Um, you could put him on a hitch. I actually really like just a little hitch on the back side there. Um, maybe with like a block and release route to the back. Just kind of a check down read. Um, you can do kind of anything you really want with him. It's not... He, he can put him on a curl, put him on a post. If you don't have high-round master, I'd recommend a hitch uh, with a block and release to the back on the right, okay? Now, when you motion over Godwin, if you don't have high-round master, you don't have a slot apprentice, just leave him on this route. But if you have the ability, when you motion him over to put him on a C route, you see right here the C route, this is going to work really, really well. You're going to be able to snap throw this every single time against coverage that's ran away from you so what i mean by that is when defenses are running um we talked a little bit about the curls play and how effective the curls play is with that snap throw to the outside so what defenses are going to start doing is they're going to start doing something like this where effectively they've now double flatted both sides of the field um and they're not going to be too worried about what's going on with with chris godwin well, the beauty of this is this little C route, it gets such good separation against man coverage um, when you motion it over. But the really beauty of it is, you see how I have that nice little window to snap throw it against the zone coverage. I think this makes this offense so much more powerful than it was um, last night, in my opinion, because um, last night I was trying to run this with not a hot route master or with not a wide receiver apprentice. If you have hot route master on your quarterback, it makes this offense, in my opinion, one of the top three or four offenses in Madden 21 because the running game is really, really solid from this offense. But now you have some really, really, really good passing plays that can beat pretty much any defense in the game. For example, let's say that they're snap. Um, let's say that they're running, you know, cover two man on you and you're running this, this setup here, right? So running motions over, you put him on the corner and you want to snap while he's moving. So right about here. So this is man coverage. Watch when he breaks to the outside. He's going to toast man coverage every single time. Now, if you have a route runner, um, if you have a, a receiver like a Tyree Kill and Mutt or a Randy Moss, Deion Sanders, any of those receivers, even a Lance Allworth, Chad Johnson, any of those guys, 
um, they have over 90 deep route running. And so with over 90 deep route running, this is going to make this even better. And basically what a lot of defenses are going to do is they're going to do something like this right here where they basically purple both sides. They have max coverage, um, you know, just a simple max coverage concept. Well, when you go to something like this, what you'll notice is on the snap, if I want to, I can, I can try to lowball that not quite there but what's really what's really open for me is let's say that they run uh, cover two man and they run kind of the meta way where they shade coverage outside over top all that stuff um, and we run this right here and then when we motion him over we put him on that corner route what you'll notice is right here he's gonna kind of snap back now there is a little bit of a window to throw that but right there the low ball possession catch right in front of the defenseless face I think that is a really, really, really good concept from this from this playbook. And the beauty is, let's say they run like cover three, because I get a lot of people that run like cover three to the twin side, and they don't really think about the fact that they're probably um, leaving themselves at a little bit of a disadvantage on the back side of this, and they run some type of Mabel coverage. I get a lot of this look right here with them usering in the middle of the field. Let me show you what this play can do for you against something like that. You'll see right here, when I motion the C route over, one of the beauties of this is this is also going to serve as a pull route um, but as you can see we're able to throw that wide open against Mabel coverage right wide open I have flats at 5 curl flats at 20 and then as you can see everything gets sucked to the outside because it's on a C route it's gonna come underneath so what's really nice too is let's say they're running um, let's say they're running something like this okay let's say they're running you know Mabel coverage to the wide with a deep half maybe um, so they're doing something like this um, and then this guy's in a curl flat so you get you got to look like this right here right and then I'm gonna throw a vert hook over here and they're basically gonna use her you know anything that comes on this left side right they probably have a hard flat on that side of the field you know but this is a very popular defense like I could realistically see this being something that somebody's gonna try to do against this well the beauty of this is you still have a lot of snap throw capabilities and the reason I like far tight slot is because I like the ability to snap throw everything. So you motion them out, and you see I can just low ball that against the zone coverage really quickly. Even with a vert hook that's at five yards, I'm able to hit this route um, against those max coverage defenses. So this is a really, really powerful play in my opinion. The best thing that you can use this for, I think, is like a Tampa 2. This is gonna just destroy um, Tampa 2 coverages in my opinion uh, especially when someone starts to double flat they start to do stuff like that what you're gonna notice here is when you do this when you bring him across and put him on that little C route snap it right about here right if you have time in the pocket obviously you can throw it right there but the real powerful window is right there and you have a chance to get a big time play against cover 2 so I just wanted to kind of highlight the C route I think the C routes really really good the cool part is you could do this from both sides out of far tight slot, which I think is really, really good. Um, for example, what I could do is I could take um, Evans and I could put him on a streak and then I've got my running back on a shoot flat and we'll just max protect here, uh, put our tight end on delay fade, block the fullback, right? This seems like a really simple rudimentary um, play, but it's really, really good. So I know that to put him on a corner, I'm gonna put him on the left on the deep head. So as soon as he moves, I'm gonna put him on a corner route and snap the ball and now you see just how powerful that is. I mean, that is that little route right there can just do so much for your offense. Um, and ha being able to have that with like a, all you need is an outside apprentice. You don't necessarily have to just have, like if you have a wide receiver apprentice, outside apprentice, that's all you really need. You don't have to necessarily have Hot Rod Master. I think Hot Rod Master makes the whole thing work together really well. Um, but you could actually get this specific tip done you know just by having a wide receiver apprentice on your field um you know and i think this is just such a big time thing because let's say they play like cover three like what you'll notice is um there's just so much so many windows to throw that c route against cover three they're gonna have to use the c route and what really excites me about this play is let's say they're running some type of some some type of cover this is like a hundred percent i must guarantee you you will see this defense if you run this offense almost 100 percent guarantee it right so what, what you're going to be able to do? What are your options, right? Well, if I take this guy here and put him on a streak, and then I run, you know, this guy to put him on a corner, at the snap of the ball, I can throw that right in that little pocket. And that little quick throw, those little quick throws of this 
make this defense or offense really, really difficult to get to with the pressure scheme. And uh, it really does open up some of your running lanes as well. Uh, everything that I said on the right side is going to apply on the left side. So using the C route to really open up some unique passing concepts from the far tight slot, I think is actually really, really effective and really, really um, useful. So if you don't have an outside apprentice, I'd highly recommend if you're running um, the far tight slot to consider getting a wide receiver apprentice in that slot position and potentially a tight end apprentice. If you get those two um, abilities, you could use like Michael Vick or whatever. With the AP rising today, it's going to be um, really actually very doable and very plausible for you to do something like that. So thank you guys so much for watching today's video. If you want to get the full scheme from the far tight slot, just shoot me a text message. It's going to be coming out tonight in my text message membership. Uh, my number is 812-216-3644. So just shoot me a text. Let me know if you guys want to receive that or not. Uh, other than that, guys, that's all we have for you today. Thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. And if you haven't joined our CFMs yet and you're interested in joining our PS4 or Xbox One uh, online CFMs, they are for money. Uh, we actually have our AFC playoffs tonight at 10 o'clock p.m. Eastern time on stream. So if you want to catch the action, we've got some really good competitors playing tonight. And then we'll actually have our Super Bowl tomorrow. So a lot of good stuff coming on the channel. Really, really excited. We're trying to get to 15K by New Year's. I don't normally... You know, think too much about subscriber goals, but I think it would be really cool if we hit 15,000 subscribers on New Year's Eve. I think that'd be kind of cool. So uh, anyways, guys, thank you guys so much for your time. I really appreciate it. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions, shoot me a text. Thanks, guys.